A few months ago, there was a photograph of someone that I think I want to meet, found on the internet, unusually so. It looked like it was my girl had had her face done by a plastic surgeon. And the minute that I saw that photo, I simply uttered in my head, I will kill her man. Now, does that mean I'm going to do that? No. Does that mean he deserved to die? Yes. Do you understand the rage in my soul today? Probably not. But there is a rage placed in my soul because I am a warrior of old. And these bastard men of Satan who think they have the right to take private records, medical records, and abuse them will never satisfy the Lord. The rage in my soul about this situation who destroyed a 10-year love affair will produce in them a loss of life very soon. God has retaliated against men over the millennium of our lifetime. That bastards of Satan think they have the right to interpret God when they have no house of the Lord. Meaning most are not involved in a church most do not attend a synagogue. Most do not participate in daily prayer. Most of them do not meditate with Jesus. Most of them listen to nothing from the Holy Ghost. And most of them heed their own counsel. The man or woman that interfered and talked across improper, immoral, incestuous lines to the women of my life and private life will literally be going to hell. But here's what I can tell you. If you did one fucking thing to physically harm or emotionally abuse or psychologically warp my woman that God planned for me over my fucking lifetime, which is the basis of my book, Soul Keepers, I promise you, hell hath no fury for your force because the life force of God can blow through your whole family as if it's a raider's of the lost ark the tomb scene when he's trying to open the ark and Indy says to Marion do not look